गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हैव यू एवर सीन अ स्विंग दैट इज अ मेरी गो राउंड स्विंग वॉट हैपन्स वेन अ चाइल्ड सेट्स ऑन इट आपने उसको कभी देखा है कि जब एक बच्चा एक स्विंग के ऊपर झूला लेता है तो उसके साथ क्या होता है वॉट आर ऑल द फोर्सेज दैट आर एक्टिंग ऑन इट सी सपोज द चाइल्ड इज सिटिंग ऑन अ स्विंग उसके ऊपर कुछ फोर्सेज लगती हैं आपने भी देखा होगा आप उसको पकड़ के बैठते हैं तो आपके ऊपर एक आउटवर्ड फोर्स लगती है जिस विच इज कॉल्ड द सेंट्री फ्यूगल फोर्स एंड आर टॉपिक टूडे इज ऑल्सो सेंट्री फ्यूगल फोर्स टू नो अबाउट सेंट्री फ्यूगल फोर्स वन शुड हैव अ कंसेप्ट ऑफ सेंट्री फ्यूगल फोर्स एट द सेम टाइम एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन दिस कंसेप्ट इन द प्रीवियस चैप्टर वॉट हैपन्स इज How do you define centrifugal force? So I'll give you just an example for it. See, students, you have already discussed about a conical pendulum. What is a conical pendulum? So I have just given you the example of the students who are moving on a merry-go-round swing. Suppose the child is sitting over here, and the link through the thread to the upper clamping is with this line. the tension that acts on the body is towards the fixed point and you already know that tension develops in the string towards the fixed point or i can say that the tension acting on the body is such that it apply it is applied along the length of the string in order to decrease the length of the string the tension acts over here suppose the angle it makes with the vertical is given by theta so this angle also becomes theta we know the we know how to take the components of the tension one will be t cos theta and the other will be t sin theta now if we consider this problem according to the law of centripetal force then what would we do is first of all we'll say a force mg is acting vertically downwards which is our gravitational force t sin theta is the force that is acting inwards and we know that any force that acts towards the center is called the centripetal force actually centripetal force does not act on the body itself but it is given by some other force i can say yahan par koi centripetal force nahi lagti agar t sin theta center ki taraf na hota i would like to add on to it t sin theta is present it is acting towards the center therefore centripetal force acts over here and it is given by t sin theta t sin theta is equal to centripetal force and it is mv square by r this becomes our first equation the swing the person is sitting in the swing is neither moving upwards nor moving downwards that means t cos theta is somewhere balancing your weight that is mg If I solve this equation, I will get t sin theta by t cos theta. I am dividing these equations is equal to m v square by r upon m g. We'll get tan theta is equal to v square by r g. The main problem of every kind of oscillation or motion on a circular part is that we have to calculate the time period of pendulum. The time period is calculated, but we know that v is equal to omega r and putting this value in this equation we get tan theta is equal to omega square r square upon rg i get omega square is equal to g tan theta upon r omega is equal to under root of g tan theta upon r we have omega is equal to 2 pi by t it is equal to g tan theta upon r t becomes 2 pi under root r by g tan theta see the problem is in this question i have not given you that what is the radius of the swing that is it is whirling on therefore i'll calculate r in terms of the length of the string which remains constant Quite clearly from the diagram, we find that r upon l. If this is also theta, r is the perpendicular, l is the hypotenuse. R upon l becomes perpendicular upon hypotenuse, and this is sine theta. R becomes equal to l sine theta. 
on substituting this value in this t is equal to 2 pi l sin theta upon substituting r is equal to l sin theta over here i get g tan theta in the denominator now t becomes t is equal to 2 pi root l cos theta by g so this is the time period of the pendulum but this i have obtained it using the previous topic that is centripetal forces i have to do the same question using centrifugal force the concept lies over here now see what happens is centrifugal force is very different from centripetal force how so one thing lies on the observer if the observer is standing outwards wo dekhega ki particle ke upar kaun si force lag rahi hai centripetal force kis ki taraf lag rahi hai center ki taraf lag rahi hai why is it acting because there is a component of tension acting towards the center the component is t sin theta but when we talk about centrifugal force the case is not so the person or the observer has to sit over here that means he has to lie himself on the rotating frame usko observer ko iske upar bitha diya jata hai to the observer what would be the case there would be t tension acting along the string same mg as the weight acting along the vertical downward direction it is same the components t cos theta and t sin theta are same but when he holds the string this way he experiences an outward force at the same time aisa hi hota hai when you sit on a string aapko aisa lagta hai ki piche ki taraf kya lag raha hai ek force lag rahi hai to wo force piche ki taraf jo lag rahi hogi that is acting away from the center this force would now be called as centrifugal force now the centrifugal force which is acting on the body it balancing what t sin theta same condition arises but now this force centripetal force is not there we have centrifugal force over there centrifugal force is equal to t sin theta the everything lies the same but the concept is that the observer has to sit outside and watch everything happening over here in case of centripetal force the observer himself has to sit sit on the rotating frame of reference and observe everything as if it is acting on him at the same time he would experience an outward force which would try to balance what t sin theta